Good afternoon. My name is Sally Chung, and I'm going to interview you today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So your name is? My name is Oli. Oli. Yes. yes. Okay. Then. So could you introduce so, yourself to me? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm 23 years old. Uh, I think uh, early 20, uh, early 20, uh, early 20 is a supreme time in my life, so I'm really happy to apply for your school in this important time. And um, I, my life is like a, is involved in English itself. I graduated, uh, I majored in English language at the Bowling Language High School, and also I am presently majoring in English language education in, at Korea University. And also I'm here to be a good English teacher in your school. So, about my personality, I'm a considerate person because I like consulting other people, especially when they are in trouble. It's, uh, sometimes people describe me as a good listener because I try to listen uh, about listen to their problems about the concerning and very carefully and also I try to give them advices, good advices to them so I really enjoyed it. As a evidence for that, uh, since last semester I have been an exec uh, one of the executives in the Korea University Dormitory so many uh, juniors visited me and also asked me to consult about their problems so I really like that. I think this aspect will be very beneficial to the school life. I think so. Alright, you told me some things about your personality, so is there any, do you have any weaknesses and is there anything that you do to overcome that weakness? Of course I have a weakness. Uh, my weakness is that I'm somewhat afraid of uh, listening to bad words, listening to bad words about myself from others. So. For example, uh, before I decide to do something, I first I consider about other people's view. Uh, like if I will do the behavior, my friends or my neighboring will hate or like the behavior or not. So too much concerning about my uh, too much concerning of revealing myself to others sometimes gives me some stress. Oh. But to overcome the big point, I try to complete and prepare all the words perfectly. So in a case of the teaching job, I will try to uh, prepare the class, uh, prepare, the, uh, prepare the class perfectly and also I will try to uh, make a relationship with our co-workers. So. Mm, that's yeah. good to hear. <laughs> so from your resume, I can see that you have many private English tutor experiences. So what did you learn after teaching many students? From several experiences in tutoring, I have learned something special. Uh, actually, before starting tutoring, I wondered and I was not sure that if I really wanted to be a teacher. And also, I could be a good teacher. But after, from the experiences and experiences of tutoring, mm -hmm. I realized that the teacher is really attractive job. And also, I felt confident with uh, teaching skills because I felt like that whenever my students asked me to keep teaching until they complete all the courses, uh, all the courses in their schools, and also. He, uh, they introduced, sometimes introduced me as a good teacher to their relatives and their friends, like that. So I really enjoyed it. But sometimes I felt some, uh, I found some difficulty in teaching. Uh, like I realized that teaching is different from just knowing. So I realized that um, teaching and just knowing should be balanced each other and also should be improved, developed together. So I try to make it. <laughs> so I think to private tutor and teaching is quite similar, like they're teaching students. But after after teaching many years, it comes to be like a habit to you, a habitual thing, oh, a routine. Yeah. So yeah. is there anything that you are going to do in order not to be 
a habit? Mm. Right, I agree with your opinion. Uh, some people say that uh, teaching job and teaching life is a happy tree. Uh, like uh, saying that uh, there is no more dreams, no more hope, and no more, uh, no more <laughs> ambitions and challenges to go out the level in teaching life. But I don't think so. And even if even if it's, uh, it is true, I um, will try not to make the, the kind of habitual life. Uh, the, well, the way is that I want to be a teacher in not only in your school and earth, but also in the, the broadcast broadcaster like the uh, EBS program or TV or radio program. And also, I want to be a, a member of the people who make who make the uh, English textbooks. So I try to keep uh, in uh, improving myself. And that makes me to avoid the habitual life and it's really very helpful, I think so. Um, yeah. We have some programs for teachers after they get they are accepted, so maybe you could one oh, day you right. could take oh. that courses. And another thing, is there any reason why you applied why you apply for this school? Uh, the reason why I apply for your school yes. is uh, comes from what I heard about your school. Yes. I've heard that your school is very famous in Seoul, uh, and also I've heard that your school has a special program to improve uh, your students to uh, develop their own uh, talent. I I have heard that your school system. Uh, is not limited to uh, the development of your intellectual aspect yeah. of your students. So I really like the point. I inter I sound it sounds very interesting. So I apply for your school. That's yeah. good. <laughs> okay. So after if you get accepted, what do you think would it will be the m most hardest thing that you would um, have in school, I and what are you going to do in order to uh, overcome that? After I become a teacher in yes, school, yes. Um, maybe there is a problem for me. Uh, how to deal with some many students might be a problem for me because not because of your school, but because of uh, my first time to teach many students in your uh, students in the real school. So sometimes students ignore the teacher, especially if the teacher is young and the woman and have little experience in teaching like me. So to overcome the problem, I will treat the students very politely. I think if I treat them politely, uh, they will respect me too. But it doesn't mean that uh, I want to be the too relaxed teacher it means that I want to be a teacher. Uh, I want to be a blackbird teacher. Sometimes like a friend, and sometimes like a, a conductor of the group. So I try to contact the students frequently, and also I try to concert them. But sometimes it might be difficult to contact all of the students because there are many students in one class. But I have to. Uh, I have to give some interest to them very, uh, very carefully and very sincerely. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is your interest? What is your hobby? What do you do other than studying English? Uh, hobby? Um, from last to traveling to Europe, I got interested in painting. Yes, I uh, really get interested in painting. So after uh, uh, finishing the traveling, I started to how to learn, to how to learn uh, how to paint. So especially how to paint a picture, a uh, paper's face. So yeah, paper's face, and I think I have got some profit from the from the experiences, from the experience because to make uh, to paint the paper's a face exactly. I have to. I have to observe the people's face very carefully and very continuously. And also, I have to catch 
the uh, cast the unique point of the people, yeah. uh, unique characteristics of the people. So it helps me to understand the people. Okay. And that would have have to be my last question because we're running out of time. Thank you for the interview. And is there any questions that you would like to ask me? Uh, I have two questions. Yes. Um, the question is that nowadays uh, overtime work is yes. one problem in the companies. I think the school is is not an exception. In your school, is there any solution and we worries for that? Um. First of all, our, our school starts from 8.30 to um, 3 o'clock. It ends at 3 o'clock. But the teacher has to be at school at least 30 minutes before the school starts. And if, the, if you have any more work to do, then it's your job to stay at school and do your job. But there, it's not necessary to work overtime. But mm -hmm. sometimes there are some things that the teachers have to do overtime. Yes, so if it is required from the principal, then mm -hmm. it's going to be rewarded by money or maybe a long vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm, and also, uh, what kind of support do the school give teachers? Um, since you're a woman, uh, um, we give a maternity leave for about six months and you'll get 80% of your salary. Also, the maternity pay, and also there's a kindergarten in our school. So if your child grows up, kindergarten in yes, so you <laughs> 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 can send your you send your child to the oh, kindergarten wow. because we have yeah. the most yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most intelligent teachers there too, wow. and um, and also every three years your salary 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 will be raised by ten percent. Oh. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.